One of the number one questions I get is, what is the fair play method and why did you do it? And I get this question because I talk a ton about how my husband and I work hard to have equity in our marriage. We try to share the domestic labor and the caretaking of our kids in the most equal way we possibly can. And that does not mean that we are 50-50, right? Because it's really impossible to be 50-50 at any given time in your life, especially when you have kids and jobs. But um, the fair play method is based on a game that Eve created. And Eve Rodsky is the author of Fair Play. I highly recommend reading the book. And then she has a game that goes along with it. I will say this. Do I think fair play is perfect? No. But do I think it is incredibly helpful as a jumping off point? Yes. Um, I think fair play often doesn't work for a lot of people because it puts a lot of the responsibility on the woman to make sure that it's happening and that people are being held accountable. But I do think it is helpful to create systems and just to have these deeper conversations around domestic labor and caretaking and the way society kind of paints a picture for both men and women as to who they should be in a home. And so the method or the game itself is essentially a list of tasks. I have a spreadsheet in my bio if you want it, but it also comes in a deck of cards. It's on her website. And the idea is that you guys should always be redealing these tasks, right? Um, For a little while, maybe your husband's always doing groceries, but then maybe there's a phase in life where you handle groceries, right? And so you're kind of having these tasks that you fully own. And when you fully own a task in Fair Play, you own all of it. You own the conception, the planning, the execution. So if it's dinner, if you own dinner, it's your job to meal plan. It's your job to make sure you have the food for that dinner. And it's your job to cook the dinner. You do not just cook the dinner, right? And ask your partner what to make or if they bought the right food, you need to do the whole task. And so that's one of the big things about fair play, but it doesn't always work for everyone. And I will say like, we don't always CPE is what it's called because sometimes it's just not possible in our home. But if you're interested in starting this conversation in your home, I do think that the fair play method is a good place to start. I do think it's also important to read other books and to listen to other people who talk about domestic labor and equity and emotional labor and invisible labor. I've read Fed Up, Emotional Labor by Rose Hackman. All of these are really, really good books and jumping off points, but um, the fair play method is obviously gaining a lot of traction. So if you want to check it out, I do highly recommend it. It was great for us as a starting point and really kicked off our journey to find equity.